So this next match we're watching is uh, on the same night where Mark Lefebvre was fighting for the title. Then you were also fighting for a, a title that night. Yeah. For what was the the weight? Uh, 135 for the Bantamweight Championship. That's it. And this would have been our your second time fighting in Rochester. Yeah. The first time was at 140. This one was at 135. And the weight felt pretty comfortable for me at 135. You look solid. No, yeah, thank you. <laughs> I felt really good. My energy was like through the roof. I felt like I could have went like five, six rounds easily. I'm so skinny though. <laughs> and what's your opponent's name? Uh, Justin Walker. Super nice dude. Before the fight and after the fight. Super nice guy. Yeah, really respectful. Yeah. He was ready to rock and roll and I got excited. Total gamer. Oh yeah. And he had been fighting for quite some time, right? Yeah, I think he's got 11 fights. Um, and I think this was like his second or third title that he was fighting for. Um, yeah, he's a wrestler and a boxer, I believe. So I knew it was gonna be a good stand-up and uh, I had to watch out for his wrestling game. Yeah, you guys have a, uh, an awesome back and forth exchange. Mm -hmm. This is a, a, such a great feeling. I'm just, just gonna say just, that. <laughs> just, before the, just before it's game time, before it's time to fight, the excitement here, just when the, especially when the crowd goes silent, yeah. and the announcers <laughs> just announcing the fighters' names, oh man, this is like, you know, especially after such a long training camp and so many nights of like heartache and like yeah. crying in the shower and <laughs> then it's all on the line right now. You know, it's such a, it's an unexplainable feeling to be there uh, with you guys in the corner just before this moment. And I, I always felt the tension with like, with you or anyone in the corner because before walking out, it's just like, Okay, I gotta make sure I don't make any mistakes because one like false move and like that could be the end of it. And it's like you guys are in my corner, and it's like we gotta go home to that. Yeah, that was my first intention, thinking not not letting the, my team down. I'm just gonna give it my all. And that's MMA. Like it's, it, it's it. We're, we're putting it all on the line. Like it's so Always. it's so uh, it's so intense. It's a team sport, but once the gate is shut, and it's like <laughs> now it's you now representing it's just the team. You, yeah, <laughs> it's all, all eyes on you. Yeah, this is by far my most favorite moment. Is right here, and then now it's just enjoy the rest. Mm -hmm. So what are you doing here, Ben? So right now I'm just trying to apply the pressure. I felt like I wanted to smother him. Uh, right here he threw a nice overhand and he clipped me in the chin and then he got excited. So right here I kept my composure. Great Tried clinch to... work to tie him up. Yeah, and then I threw a nice e combo right oh, here. Oh man. And then I got really excited. I tried to throw that last one to finish him. <laughs> yeah. But he like ducked right on time. You, you nailed the right hand so many times. Yeah. yeah. Great control here on the ankle, hip pressure, you know, negating his takedown. Mm -hmm. Basically squashing the wrestling. I didn't want to get too excited as well, um, but holding the ankle, it definitely kept my balance. He was doing a good job holding my uh, my left foot. And uh, right now I'm trying to find a better position. I don't know what I was thinking here, putting my leg over. This yeah, you, gotta free, you gotta free the leg. Yeah. With a good cross face in that position, you mm -hmm. could have freed the leg, control the back. Yeah. But here the jiu-jitsu plays out well. Yeah, trying to work a triangle, but I'm smothered against the cage and he's doing a really good job using his knee to separate my legs. And then he's working to take my back and I just like explode right here. I'm like, nope, <laughs> not today. I don't know why, but his choke, even though I'm in side control, it was really tight. And like my chin was like bending down on my chest. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what, like, I was surprised how tight it was. You know he's gassing his <clears throat> arms, though, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Because you could tell he's definitely trying to squish your head off, for sure. Mm -hmm. And I'm just trying to keep my composure and just stay in side control. And I remember Hammer saying, like, stay on the side. Yeah, because if you had a mounted him with your mm -hmm. head trapped this way, he could 
either keep choking or, or yeah. roll you over. And there, he eventually got you over. Yeah, and everyone got excited here. I just kept my composure, pushing his hip and trying to work the lockdown on his leg, making sure he doesn't get the high elbow. Yeah, and you keep the underhook. Mm -hmm. And then I hear you say right here, you're fine, and then I just get right okay. on top. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, right here. You're right. I was like, all right. I know what you do, so I, I was like, yeah. I got this. I'm like, he's just going to keep choking me? I was like, well, getting him out. And Harry was not happy when I got him out. <laughs> I heard him in the background. I was like, okay, I got to punch my way out of here. <clears throat> yeah, it's because I want you to be in side control. Yeah. And then your arm that's, that's trapped, you have to get it into his armpit. Mm -hmm. And, and just like the fight that we watched with Mark Lefebvre, here you need to be putting that downward pressure with the hips. Yeah, it was too high up. And extending your legs back to break them down. I heard 10 seconds, I was like, okay, well, I'll just throw some flurries at him. Goes by so fast. Oh. When, that, when the round was over, I was like, that's it? Oh, I was like, okay, well. I'll do that again. He's in trouble <laughs> next round because my energy hasn't even left me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's what happens with a great a great training camp. Yeah, you guys prepared me really well. Like, I didn't even want to sit down. I was like, no, I'm ready. Let's yeah. just, let me bang, bro. <laughs> <laughs> See right here, and then I get too excited, but I throw a flash kick. I should have uh, set it up with a jab. And I want to really apply pressure. But then I got too excited, landed a good double. I tried to f use my, uh, Put to flip him over for the butterfly sweep try to reverse mm -hmm. yeah i actually noticed i was watching a lot of your training and you use that butterfly hook a lot when they take you down yeah. just to reverse it yeah, he did a good job keeping his balance so right now i'm just working the uh the triangle throwing punches keeping his head down and but his head was like it was coming out so and he had no neck like you just had all like muscle. all muscle hey. Ooh, and that's where i had to just extend the arm and I was super happy, but then I felt so, so bad after. I was like, oh, poor guy. <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry, man. Are you okay? But you got to admit, though, gotta he's do he's doing his best to, to win. Absolutely. You know, if he had have escaped, it would have been game on. Mm -hmm. And that's the reality is, like, you guys are both, you know, putting it on the line and, and, and taking that risk. You know, great competitor. You know, hats off to, uh, to Justin. You know, a st stellar opponent. Mm -hmm. You know, he brought it the whole time, and you just came out on top and kept the pressure on him. But yeah, like with a great training camp, you're in great shape, and and the strategy was there. Kept yeah. him at the end of the fist. I was well prepared for this fight. You guys prepared me really well. I think it was like yeah. a good two month training camp. Yeah, solid fight. That's awesome. Mo Mo puts yeah. on a great show. Yeah, yeah. He does. Mo does put on a great show. Thank you, Mo. <laughs> <laughs> Just starts from the venue too. Yeah, an old armory like awesome. that. The vibes, you're like, all oh, right, this you is feel like, like a you're fighting in here. like an arena. <laughs> yeah. Like you feel like, yeah, the energy in the place is oh. unreal.